think so. The first generation is the generation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba, his companions. Mm-hmm. That's the first generation. Then the second generation we call it uh, the Tabi'een, the those the students of the Sahaba, the next mm-hmm. generation, the children, the grandchildren, etc. And then you have the Tabu Tabi'een, mm-hmm. uh, they followers, the the one after that. So that's the th- three generations. So, so the Prophet of Allah call them the best of generations. That's why we try to take uh, knowledge from them because the Sahaba number one they didn't ev- just know the Quran they actually lived the Quran hmm. they saw Jibreel A.S. coming they didn't just read the Quran or they didn't just memorize the Quran they actually they used to ask questions and the revelation used to come with the answers so they actually was alive it was like practically in their life so their understanding of Quran was on a different level Compared they didn't just read the life of the Prophet or they didn't just they actually saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they actually lived with him, mm. interacted with him. So their understanding of the life of the Prophet Sallallahu and his teaching, etc., just beyond our understanding. So that's why, so they, that's the first generation. And then their children, or who learn from them, mm. and then who learn from them. So that's why we take it. So Deen, <coughs> we try to base it on these three generations. These three generations. On the actions of these three generations. So this-